I thought, well, what if you did this and you left out everybody you have to leave in? What if it was the history of rock and roll in just a few songs? The last kind words. Last kind words blues by Gishi Wiley. That sense of disappearance, that sense of never existing at all, is what the song is all about. It almost says, once you've sung a song like this, then it's up to you to disappear. I'll dance around the ring while there's still time. Nothing happens twice. Raise a glass of wine and try to still time. Some of you may remember this song. It was a number one hit in 1958 for the Teddy Bears, where Phil Spector late, later became the great rock and roll producer, really probably the greatest of all time. All the high schools in L.A. had doo-wop groups. As Spector himself once said, you could just drive down Fairfax Avenue, there'd be 16 groups out there on the corner as you just scoop them up. And it was one of those songs that... that wore out very quickly. The radio kind of exposed it. But it's also a song that people never forgot. It's incredibly funny, and it's one of the most painful songs that I know. Um, I taught a class on John Henry yesterday in New York City, uh, and I played this song at the end of it um, because talk about somebody lost lost to history like Gishi Wiley. Uh, in this song, John Henry uh, lives the same kind of life. Columbus fell down on his knees So weak from sailing on the seas John Henry laid his hammer down Headed back to his hometown Someone turned the signpost round Someone took the road sights down In America I was going to leave out everybody. But I could not keep the Beatles out. Um, They're just too good. They just did too many odd and wonderful things. Um, they changed songs so radically and, and with such uh, heart and, and so many conflicting emotions and ideas. There was just no way. Bascom Lamar Lunsford called I Wish I Was a Mole in the Ground. And it was a song that uh, entered the mind of Lunsford, never left it. He recorded that song for the rest of his life. It's a huge, magisterial voice that he brought to this with a banjo that sounded as if it started playing long before the record began and kept playing long after it ended. It was one of the strangest songs in the world. I wish I was a mole in the ground. I wish I was a mole in the ground. If I was a mole in the ground, I'd root that mountain down. And I wish I was a mole in the ground. It's a song about destruction, anarchy, and nihilism, and just the, the wish to break everything apart. But it's also a song about sex. It's, it's half politics and it's half carnal. It's just the strangest song in the world. Well, I wish I 
was a mole in the ground. Well, I wish I was a mole in the ground. If I was a mole in the ground, now the wood that mountain down. Well, I. Joy Division, Transmission. This is a song that starts out desperate, powerful. It, it just bursts. There's a certain point in the song when Curtis, who was epileptic, he actually began to have fits as the song uh, broke in the second part. And the song was written almost as if it were about that possibility, you know, not for Ian Curtis, for anybody. Radio 